Hi, my name is Minh Hoài Nguyễn. I'm a professor of computer vision and a deputy director at the Australian Institute for Machine Learning at the University of Adelaide. My research broadly encompass computer vision and machine learning, uh, specifically in the domain of human behavior analysis. Now, uh, by human behavior, I mean the action interaction of a person or a group of people in uh, images and video and sometimes captured by the wearable sensors as well. By human behavior, I also mean attentional behavior of a person. I'm interested in what part of a scene attract visual attention. Uh, human behavior research uh, requires uh, solving a range of computer vision problems from tracking their hands, uh, detecting what they are uh, holding or using to perform the action, to recognizing the action and counting the action that they are performing. Uh, so most of the time human behavior is so complex that we cannot uh, instruct the computer to do precisely what we want to do. So we use machine learning to teach it to do the thing that we want it to do. So that's why my research extends to the area of machine learning. But in machine learning, the wrong perception is we just throw in data and let the machine to do the right thing. But for, for human behavior, if we want to use machine learning, it requires a lot of training data and annotated training data, and it's very difficult to annotate human behavior. So part of my research is to come up with innovative uh, algorithms that can learn from noisily or weakly labeled data or sometimes unlabeled data. So human behavior uh, analysis has so many applications from entertainment, surveillance, to education and healthcare. So my research is usually initiated by collaborating with domain experts in psychology, psychiatry, in education research, but then most of my research has been driven by uh, trying to identify the technical challenge and going to address those technical challenges. So even though the research has been uh, initiated by motivating application, the solution to the technical problem usually have broader impact. My current research is being funded by uh, the Australian Institute for Machine Learning and several initiatives within, uh, within AMO including the Center for Augmented Reasoning. Uh, one of my recent achievements is serving as a general chair for the Asian Conference on Computer Vision. It was such a rewarding uh, experience to organize such a conference. So it was my first time organizing this conference, uh, but the thing that I learned the most is probably the deep appreciation for the unseen amount of work that go into organizing conferences. Well, uh, my favorite quote is, um, uh, machine learning is the second best uh, solution for all the problems, you know, for any problems. Uh, the first best is uh, to, write, uh, to write down the right equation and to provide precise instruction for computers. However, we often don't know that. I like this quote because it's, it, it, it summarizes my perspective about machine learning, its uh, it power as well as its limitation. Well, there's so many things that I love about Emo. Uh, it's such a vibrant uh, community. Uh, I think uh, uh, you know it has strong. You know, it, it's at the forefront of AI research. It has strong uh, collaboration spirit, and I like the support from the professional staff, uh, the university, and also the state government. Uh, one of the things that I, I also like about AMO is, is uh, it is the number one institute for machine learning and computer vision in the country. So it attracts a, a, a constant stream of visitors coming to AMO. So as, as, as a result, I, I get to meet with a lot of people from uh, world-class researcher to policy maker. And it really gives me fresh ideas and uh, new things, new perspective on my own work as well as how we grow.